okay question number two this is based on an involute and uh, we are going to crack this very easily in the next 10 minutes but as you can see it is a choice between one and two it is better to go with question number one okay anyway problem two uh it is actually talking about an inelastic string so there is this np of an inelastic string 160 mm long it is attached to the circumference of a circular disc of 50 mm diameter okay draw the locus of free end q of the thread if it is completely unwound from the disc completely unwound does not matter wound or unwound the involute go is going to look the same and we are going to be applying this process of wounding the the string onto the circumference of the circle right don't worry keeping the thread always tight name the curve you already know the curve i mean the description of the problem is such that it is defining the curve okay and the curve in this case is an involute yes but you <clears throat> need to work out whether the length of string is greater than or less than the circle's circumference i think it would be better if we can just start writing down the details which have been given in the problem there is this np of an inelastic string uh, 160 millimeters long so length of the string has been given as 160 secondly it np is attached to the circumference of a circular disc this disc is having 50 millimeter diameter done can you calculate the circumference that is pi d yes we can this is what pi d works out as and you can <coughs> clearly make a comparison that the length of string is greater than pi d circle circumference so uh, a bit of advanced construction will take place okay or point b will be slightly beyond point 12 if length of string is less than pi d then point p will be slightly before point 12 okay you'll, you'll you'll understand what i'm trying to say here we go let's start by first of all creating a circle this circle is having a radius of 25 that is diameter as 50 first of all divide the circle into four equal parts and then you can keep your protractor over here and then at an angle of 30 degrees then at an angle of 60 degrees you can see these are three equal divisions the same process has to be repeated in all of these quarters and when you do that the entire circle is divided into 12 equal parts okay you can number them from 1 2 3 4 uh, one more thing when you do the construction please number them as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash i forgot to do so okay all right <clears throat> now now what we'll do is we'll simply draw a line from over here from this very point the length of the line is equal to circle's circumference that is pi d which worked out as 157.07 so make it as 157 you won't be able to mark 0 0.07 or go for 157.1 .1, right that's the best we can do okay <laughs> all right so this is 157 basically okay now our objective now is to divide this line into 12 equal parts for that starting from this very point i'll randomly make a line at any angle of any random length okay and then you need to make points keep a scale over here and at equal intervals of 10 millimeters keep on marking points i'm making arcs you can make points how many sir 12 points when you've made the 12th point connect it with this point done now keep your mini drafter one scale of your mini drafter over here automatically the other scale will be perpendicular anyway we don't need this scale now once your drafter is in this position tighten the screw then bring it over to this 11th point draw a line 10th point draw a line keep on repeating the process until all the points have been exhausted like this now you can number them from 1 to 12 okay please remember these markings make a dash so that they are differentiated from these markings right <laughs> anyway now what look so uh, the length of string has been given how much pq is equal to 160 millimeters how much is this the line that we have made just made is 157 that is pi d circle circumference so point p is going to be slightly beyond this uh, not point p but point q mm, please don't make this mistake uh, let me go back end p of the inelastic string is attached 
to the circumference of a circular disc and p is attached whereas and q is free to move so there is a difference what we'll do is and p uh that's the solution and p is here let me show this to and p is here and 160 millimeters away you are going to have and q and p is right here and from this point at a distance of 160 millimeters there is going to be point q as i said it is going to be to the right of this 12 point okay this distance is close to 3 millimeters this is 12 is 157 mm away whereas q is 160 millimeters away i hope all of you got this now majority of the construction is done now what we've got to do is we've got to make tangents to all of these spokes what we basically need to do is you need to keep one scale of your drafter over here while the other scale will automatically be perpendicular right tighten the screw also so through one with the help of this scale draw a line this automatically will become a tangent this way in case of two also make a tangent and through all of these points in fact you need to draw tangents i expect you guys to make tangents easily Ho jayega? Ho jana chahiye. okay now what's up <clears throat> now listen to this very carefully and uh, you'll also understand the reason behind the construction process from here on we are wounding the string although in the question it has been given as unwound okay does not matter let me tell you once again unwound or wound it is going to be an involute okay identical involute in fact when you start wounding this this much portion of the string will come into contact how much is left sir from one dash to q over here somewhere we don't know so with this much from one to q as the radius with one q with one q as the radius and now with one dash as the center with one dash this is one dash this is two dash you keep the steel end of your compass over here and then cut an arc this is going to give you q1 can this be done yes sir this can be done okay similarly now with two q as the radius and with two dash as the center two dash as the center cut an arc again this is q2 done sir similarly with 3q as the radius and with 3 dash as the center cut an arc this is going to give rise to q3 similarly you can obtain points q4 q5 q6 q7 q8 q9 q10 what about q11 sir this is from 11 to q with 11 as center cut this is q11 so far so good as far as q12 is concerned this is from 12 to q please take a careful look for 11 this is the tangent is it and for point 12 this line itself becomes a tangent so with 12 as center you need to cut an arc very small arc close to 3 millimeters okay so <clears throat> once again let me zoom into this if you watch carefully this arc where it cuts on this red line gives rise to q12 where it cuts on these circles circumference gives rise to endpoint q okay so these are the final two points done join all of these points in proper sequence it gives rise to a beautiful curve popularly known as an involute and this is how the construction should finally look like the involute uh, it, it's, it's our objective so it should be dark and thick okay circular disc keep it thick uh, the string keep it thick no problem and then do the dimensioning as well so in nine minutes we have finished the problem i hope uh, it may appear tough to uh, some people but given the option the option of uh, either doing a problem on either doing a problem on uh, parabola or doing a problem on involute i would still suggest you to go for the parabola one anyway i suppose all of you have understood how to crack this problem based on involute where the length of string was greater then the circles circumference how much greater it was this much greater from 12 to q this much greater right and that is why you saw the involute did not finish here it rather finished somewhere here okay slightly more than one complete revolution right so that's it